Welcome back to Faster and Louder, my dudes. <laughs> the guy was like, I said, what? Oh, shit. I can't ride. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, as you can tell, this is a little bit different. This isn't what Faster and Louder normally does. What the hell's going on here? Well, I've been wanting to do some motorcycle stuff for quite a while. About a month ago, I finally got this uh, Purple Panda microphone. <clears throat> and um, I got it and plugged it in and realized that um, it has a different kind of connector and it didn't work <laughs> and then I was like hey maybe I should look at the instructions so uh, I looked at the instructions and realized that uh, it comes with an adapter that I'm supposed to use and uh, yeah it turns out when you use the adapter it works so <laughs> finally got this going I, um, I kind of copied what I've seen on YouTube as far as like uh, GoPro helmet setups go <laughs> and it's it's pretty basic it just you you get like the microphone adapter you plug this purple panda microphone into it tape it all on your helmet slap it in there uh, and you're good to go um, it's not it's not too complicated it's just a little expensive for everything considering what it is but um yeah finally got it going and I'm finally making some motorcycle stuff. Pretty dope. <laughs> so this video is kind of like an introduction to that part of this channel, I guess, finally. But also I have some other potential news for the channel for Faster and Louder. Um, I am possibly getting an actual shop for Faster and Louder pretty soon. And not to that guy over there. <laughs> God. Yeah, so there's there's a shop that I'm looking at. It's like a thousand square foot shop. And I haven't seen the inside of it yet. But uh, I'm really hoping it'll be something I can use. Uh, it'll be a dual purpose thing too. It's not just for the channel. It's actually for my job. My everyday job, which is... Uh, being a fiber optic technician so I'll be making good use out of it for storage and whatnot but I'm super excited about it <laughs> I'm supposed to go look at it in a couple days it'd be so awesome it'd be so badass to like have a place for my engine you know my own place for the engine and whatever potential project car I end up getting so yeah <laughs> I can't wait. I'm, I'm really hoping it works out. I'm, <clears throat> I'm hoping everything comes together. My, my plan comes together. So, um, I, I kind of just wanted to get on a bike and show one of my favorite little areas. Uh, I live in Phoenix and I feel kind of lucky because I feel like this is a cool little ride and it's really just around the corner from where I live. And, uh, I mean, it's nothing crazy, but how many people get to live in a major city and have the cool little ride like this? I'm not sure if the actual park that I'm going to is open or not, but I uh, figured I would take you guys for a little ride with me and you can, you can kind of see where I like to go if I want to go on just a quick little 15 or 20 minute ride and or drive. I don't even know what this place is called, this park. <laughs> I do know that this place is very popular on the weekends. It's uh, it's Sunday afternoon right now. And uh, this place is always popping. Man, look at it. Especially because here in good old Arizona, all the... Um, not all of them, but a lot of the restrictions have eased up on the, yeah, the unmentionable sickness. 
but <laughs> yeah they've they've eased up on a lot of stuff and things have been crazy here it's just been people everywhere insane I've actually gone camping or not camping <laughs> oh shit car Jesus I always forget where my horn is like I panic I'm like huh <laughs> I've gone hiking here uh, several times yeah back there is like the easy hiking going up and I say easy with quotations you just can't see my fingers <laughs> but uh, that way is there's like a path that goes to the top and then over around here um, there's a different trail going to the top and it's crazy it takes like it, it's it's not like super long but it goes way up there by those antennas and uh, it takes about an hour if you're going pretty consistently it's been a long time since I've been up there but some badass views up there <laughs> yeah this is the beginning you can kind of see a trail over there Yeah, there's some people up there. Don't want to look away for too long. <laughs> These people see me with a camera on my helmet and they're like, what the? <laughs> this guy's a dork. <laughs> Don't make me self-conscious. <laughs> Man, it is so nice out today. This is so cool. Well, if you are joining me for the first time, thanks for watching. This is something new I've never done before. I'd like to do a lot of stuff like this. This is kind of just going to be a short little video, but um, I'd like to do more um, videos like this. Oh, geez. Uh, I've never been over those on a bike before. <laughs> that was weird. But, uh, I, I do want to do a lot more videos like this. I'd like to get um, everyone involved. Everyone, my wife, Jess, uh, Ivan, and Randy, they all have bikes, but they're either not being used for whatever reason or... Uh, you know, well, I mean, Jess has a good excuse. She's pregnant. <laughs> so, uh, she probably won't be riding for a minute. But, um, Randy and I were trying to get his bike running. He's got a 2005 ZX6R Ninja. Uh, we were trying to get that running. Oh, man, I hope this thing trips because I'm on a bike and we'll be sitting here forever. <laughs> but, we were trying to get his bike running because, um, it's been sitting for like a year and a half. It needs new front rotors and it needs, um, now it needs a new fuel pump. <laughs> so, <sighs> we've been trying to get that thing going. It's just been a pain in the ass. Uh, we got it all back together and then realized the fuel pump wasn't working. So now he's got to order one of those. Oh my God, I'm never going to get out of here. I'm going to try to let this guy behind me roll up. There we go. It worked. So yeah, I've, I've kind of been like on my own with the whole motorcycling thing, which kind of sucks. Uh, it's never really fun to ride by yourself. That's why a lot of people end up getting rid of their bikes, you know? It's like they had these big plans of uh, going on motorcycle adventures with their friends and stuff, and then it never happens, or it doesn't happen as much as they'd like, so they just get rid of it. And, uh, you know, Things changed in, in my own life, you know, obviously I'm going to have a baby later this year now, but um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, whatever. I, I just want to get out of my bike as much as I can, especially because it's going to be really hot here soon. But I do have some cool places I'd like to go, like there's uh, Mount Lemon, 
in Tucson. That's a popular place to go. Uh, I like to go to Jerome. Woo, it is windy. Oh my god. Pretty cool view. kind of just trying to get a feel for what you guys would like to see as far as motorcycle stuff goes. I, I don't have I don't think that I have a lot of people subscribed for the motorcycle videos just yet, but I think it'd be cool to do like a little ride like a ride along kind of thing like this. I like I personally like watching videos where people take a trip somewhere and kind of just document it. It's fun to, I don't know, it's just fun to see. I, I like the scenery and whatnot, but maybe I'm just weird. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I need you guys to let me know if this is interesting or not. Whether you are new or you've been here since the beginning, thank you for watching and please like the video, subscribe, check out our other videos and hopefully you'll be coming back soon. Thank you for watching, catch you guys later.